Welcome to Mardux Games, where I showcase indie games every week, ensuring you don't miss out on new and exciting titles. Imagine a fusion of the well-known Stalker series with the roguelike genre, and you will find yourself exploring games like Arcticide, set in near future Arctic on the brink of collapse where citizens have fled and many areas are deserted, yet the continent is far from being abandoned. Mysterious mercenaries roam the land searching for something, but their intentions remain shrouded in mystery. Arcticide is currently a work in progress with a playable demo available thanks to the Steam Next Festival. Despite a limited narrative at this stage, the game creates a harsh and gritty world with a heavy atmosphere in present. The demo, albeit small in scope, offers an enjoyable gaming experience. Upon starting the game, players find themselves amidst the wreckage of a crashed helicopter alongside a wounded captain, urging us to proceed to the old station for help. So players have to grab basic items and starting weapon, the pistol, things can be found near the captain in the container. Navigating procedurally generated maps, players encounter various challenges. While the demo offers only a glimpse of the gameplay and story, Arcticide possesses a certain charm. Based on my intuition, toxic plants scattered across different maps seemingly play a role similar to anomalies in the Stalker series. Drawing parallels to the games like Stalker, Metro and Escape from Tarkov, Arcticide embodies a post-apocalyptic atmosphere and gameplay, great for fans of missionary titles. At least I think it is. Inventory management is crucial with limited space necessitating strategic decisions, but I believe that in full game there will be the option to change our basic gear and expand space. Combat requires cautions and more stealth play type. As enemies lurk around every corner, often blinding into the environment, snipers and mercs often are not that easy to spot at the first glance, and with few direct hits they can take us down along with our expedition. Resource management adds depth to the gameplay, players needing to scavenge for supplies while also tending to their basic needs such as food, water and rest. Limited ammunition further heightens the tension, requiring players to make every shot count. That is why it's so important to spot enemies before they gonna spot us. Prepare your weapon and try not wasting too much ammo. Therefore, you have a knife with you, but I never was that close to be able to use it besides word glitch. A core part of Arcticide's gameplay is its shooting mechanics. With a variety of firearms available, including shotguns, rifles and SMGs, players must contend with recoil and utilize attachments effectively. Typically, you can use also Molotov or grenades, but they are tricky to aim. Therefore, you can turn on cross-aim option, but let's be honest, the game gets some bigger death without it. Unexpected mechanic is the crypting. While scavenging and looting weapons and attachments, some of them has lock icon on them. It means they are encrypted and you can't use them, but players have to find the description device and they are often inventory of fallen enemies. This mechanic has a layer of progression reminiscence of roguelike mechanics. Arcticide's visual aesthetic, characterized by a retro-inspired low-poly style, complements its harsh setting. While occasionally encountering a visibility issues admits foliage, the overall ambience contributes to an immersive experience. Procedural generation ensures each playthrough feels fresh, mitigating concerns of repetition. Testing Arcticide on the Steam Deck yields promising results, with stable frame rates achievable under certain settings. However, controls, mapping and difficult adjustments remain necessary for optimal handheld gaming experience. Despite encountering bugs and optimization issues typical of an early demo, Arcticide shows a promise. Its potential for prolonged enjoyment warrants keeping an eye on a future update. As I continue to seek out engaging indie titles, Arcticide earns a spot on my wishlist and I urgently anticipate its development progress. So, thank you very much for watching this video. If you are keen on discovering more entertaining indie games, be sure to subscribe for future updates. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.